Hey guys, look what I found. This is super exciting. So I talked about this in the Ripple review that I was looking for these, but I couldn't find them. Uh, well, like I think a day after I posted that we found these. So these are the Silk Protein and Nut Milk. It's almond and cashew based, almond, cashew, and pea protein. So like the Ripple, it is pea protein, but it is not pea protein like only. <laughs> like those are but pea protein and I, I think uh, sunflower oil. Uh, those are like the main ingredients. So again, I was super excited to try these um, for the same reason as the Ripple, um, you know, kind of an alternative to soy in terms of a uh, higher protein milk similar to a cow's milk. You know, almond milk is great. It certainly has a neutral flavor. It's really tasty, but it has like virtually no protein, right? Whereas soy milk has lots of protein, uh, but definitely not a neutral flavor. It definitely has that beany kind of taste. So this was a nice alternative and also soy free for people who are allergic to soy. It is one of the top allergens. So that is cool as well. Also, I do want to say that these are much cheaper than Ripple. These are $2.99 and right now at Kroger anyway, they have a $1 off if you buy two coupon thing going on now. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, the Ripple was like $4.99, I think, for a half gallon. These are $2.99 for, no, 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 it was $4.99 for 48 ounces. This, this is $2.99 for a half gallon, which is 64 ounces. So yeah, much better price. And that's actually cheaper than soy milk as well. The typical, the normal price for the silk um, soy milk, the unsweetened and the original, and I think the vanilla too, um, at Kroger is like $3.29, I think. Yeah, so everything from the start looks good. Um, again, I have two. I have this vanilla here and I have this, uh, the, their original, I guess. Um, so this one, this one is just barely sweetened. I would say it's maybe slightly, maybe just barely sweeter um, than like an unsweetened soy milk or just an unsweetened um, almond milk. It's 130 calories per cup, 10 grams of protein, and only two grams of sugar. This one is the vanilla. So this is the, has vanilla flavoring and is also sweetened. It's 140 calories per cup, 10 grams of protein, and six grams of sugar. So still not that much sugar. I find that usually the vanilla sweetened um, non-dairy milks have like crazy amounts of sugar like the uh the ripple i don't know was that just sweetened or was that vanilla i thought it was vanilla too that one had like 15 grams of sugar or something it was absolutely absolutely ridiculous and just tasted way too sweet um again this one has like half less than half of the amount of sugar that's pretty awesome. So how do they taste? Um, this is not a taste test. I have already tasted these and they are pretty darn good. I am actually, this is the second or third time that we have bought these actually. So we have bought these again, if that tells you anything. We have not bought Ripple again, if that tells you anything. Although some of you said you did like it. So hey, that's, that is so awesome. Anytime someone likes a vegan product, a non-dairy milk, whatever, I am so happy. So that is great. I'm glad you guys like it. Um, yeah, so this this is really, really good. Um, I really like this um, unsweetened uh, kind. As I said, it's, um, did I already say that it's that it's slightly sweet? Yeah, so it's, it's like very, very slightly sweet. Um, the texture is good. It's fairly creamy, honestly. I would say it tastes mostly like cashew, if any anything. It tastes, it does have a slight pea protein kind of taste, pea taste, but it mostly, <laughs> pea taste, haha, <laughs> I'm 12. Um, but it really mostly tastes like cashew. So if you're not a fan of cashew milk or like cashew ice cream or something like that, or just cashew in general, uh, you, you probably won't like this. Um, but I would still say try it because honestly, my partner is not a fan of cashew milk or anything like that. Um, and he's like, this is totally drinkable. I don't think he loves it, but um, he's fine with drinking it. This one, the vanilla is also very good. I like to, I don't like this in like cereal or something. It's too sweet for that in my opinion, but I do like to just drink it straight. Like I'll drink this, you know, have a glass of this with like a peanut butter sandwich. That is so delicious. Um, so like I said, this is sweeter and it does taste, it tastes a lot sweeter than six grams of sugar. That's really surprising to me just based on the taste. Um, but it is very, very vanilla-y, which I really, really like. It just tastes like straight up vanilla. It's awesome. Um, yeah, and the same deal with the other one. It has more of a cashew taste. That's the predominant taste to me. The one downside I will say is that it does separate in coffee. I know some of you were mentioning that with various non-dairy milks in the Ripple review. I've never had that problem with almond milk or 
soy milk or anything like that, but um, these, sure enough, these do separate in coffee. The color is kind of, eh, it's kind of like a dingy, kind of like brown color, kind, kind of like soy milk, I would guess. It might actually be a little, a little grosser looking, a little dingier looking than soy milk. I don't know, I'll have to put them side by side to see, but uh, yeah, I guess that's one downside. Particularly if you're giving it to someone for the first time, like you're trying to get them to like try non-dairy milks and it's like, here, drink this brown sludge. And I guess I will say in terms of just in general, like what's best to introduce people to in terms of taste, almond milk still wins. I would say this still has a, a distinct flavor, right? This doesn't have like a more neutral flavor like almond milk has. This has like a, oh, what is, what is that flavor? That's, <laughs> that's an interesting flavor, right? Again, if you don't really like that cashew flavor, you may not like this stuff. So um, yeah, I would definitely say that almond milk is still in the lead in that regard. I know some of you mentioned oat milk. I guess that is popular in other places. We have that here and I have tried it. Um, I was not a fan. I think I tried the Pacific brand or some, something like that. Um, and I was really interested in it because it wasn't sweetened at all and um, like no added sweetener. Whew, the texture, it was super thick. I mean, creamy, I guess, but just way too thick um, and like so sweet and it's just not, just not for me. It's nice to not only find new foods that are tasty, but also something that you can like add into your like regular diet that you can have regularly to add in like, you know, your rotation of foods or whatever. You know, I, I try a lot of tasty vegan stuff, but more often than not, it's either too expensive or just too unhealthy or both, right? To eat like on a regular basis. Like Miyogo's butter is a good example. I love that stuff so much. It's so delicious, but it's like, seven or eight dollars for per bar oh my gosh and it's also just like pure coconut oil <laughs> like it's not it's obviously not a health food right it's obviously not supposed to be it's supposed to mimic butter and there's other stuff as well that's just like you know really what what are those little those little sausages the field roast little maple apple sausages i love those things but they're like five dollars for this tiny little package right it's like no i can't i, I just can't eat that on a daily basis. But this stuff I totally can and it, it's really exciting and it's really tasty and I love food. <laughs> I'm glad that I love food again. It's really nice. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, of course you can leave those down below. If you've tried this stuff and you want to let others know what you think about it, of course go ahead and do that. That'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, if you found it anywhere else as well, like if you found it at Target or something, I mean, I, again, I found it at Kroger. I don't know what other stores have it. So please let us know. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe. And I will have a new video very soon.